Okay, parallel planes. Parallel planes have very special angle between them, which is can you tell me what the angle is between parallel planes? One eighty. One eighty. Well, zero is easier. Right? Because zero is the same in degrees and radians. You don't have to worry about changing the units. Uh, now, the parallel planes, although they have zero angle, they still have something, non zero, that kind of relates the planes. There is a distance between them. Right? So, there is a number you can figure out. And you call it the distance. Now the idea is to figure out how to how to find that number from equations. So you have one equation for the first plane, you have another equation for the second, and what we did and practiced for some time is making the vector ABC which carries some information about the plane and now for this purpose of the distance the two vectors are proportional this A prime X plus B prime Y plus C prime Z equals D prime so these are different coefficients but the two vectors are proportional so they don't provide any information about the distance That means we have to focus on the constant d. What's the meaning of d? What's the meaning of that number? 2x minus 3y plus 5z equals 7. What's the meaning of 7? Geometric meaning of number 7. In respect to that plane. Distance to the origin. Distance to the origin. What if I take the equation 4x minus 6y plus 10z equals 14? What's the meaning of 14? Is that also distance to the origin? Well, you see, what, what's the, what did I do to the equation? I multiplied by 2, right? And that changes the number, but the distance from the plane to the origin never changes, right? So there is no meaning for that number 7 or for that number 14, because I can change them to be almost anything. I cannot make them 0, because if I multiply by 0, I will kill the whole equation. But Although the number itself doesn't have meaning, there is something that has meaning. If I divide that by, again, the same thing, the magnitude of, of that vector, A, B, C. And so I take that vector, compute its magnitude. I can do the same to the right-hand side. Why, why would I do it? I mean, why would such a crazy idea come to my mind to divide both sides by the magnitude of the vector? Well, because the left hand side, Ax plus By plus Cz, looks algebraically like. like what? So AX plus BY plus CZ looks algebraically like a dot product, yes. You see, it took 45 seconds for you to figure it out. You should work on reducing that number to less than 5 seconds. Whenever you see 
number is multiplied and then added together, you have five seconds to recognize. That's a dot program. Okay? That will be only final. It will be timed on recognition of dot product. So that's a dot product of the vector ABC and XYZ. And then there is no geometric meaning for the dot product, but if you divide it by the magnitude of ABC, that fraction has a meaning. That's a component of that vector in that direction. Okay, so that's why I divide it by magnitude on the left hand side to get this component of x, y, z in the direction of a, b, c. And the right hand side gives me numerical value that number d over the magnitude of a, b, c is the value of that component. So that number has geometric meaning. So in that particular example, the number 7 over square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 5 squared, that number has a meaning. 4 plus 9 plus 25, 38. So what's the meaning of that number for that plane? Well, you have to imagine that plane, you have to imagine that vector, ABC vector perpendicular to the plane. And then you think about some point on the plane, or somewhere, and that point has coordinates x, y, z. But we are talking about the vector x, y, z. How does that vector look like? It goes from the origin, right? Because there is somewhere the origin of our coordinate system. It goes all the way from the origin to that point. So this is x, y, z. And now I look at this direction perpendicular to the plane and the line from the origin in that direction hits the plane at some point so that line is perpendicular to the plane and then I make this triangle that happens to be isn't that right? Right, because that line was perpendicular to the whole plane. So I make this triangle and the component of this blue vector in that direction is going to be just that side of the triangle. This is it. This is the number. So the meaning of this number is the distance from origin to the plane. The little detail of that possibly being positive or negative. Right? And that detail is exactly the same as we had on the plane. If you go from the origin to the plane, and that direction is going to be the same as direction of ABC. The number will be positive. If that direction happens to be negative, well, opposite, if the plane is on the other side, but ABC is still looking in this direction, the number will be negative. So that's how the sign of the number corresponds to geometry. It's just about position of plane on the same side of direction ABC or on the opposite. All right? So now, as we know that, how will we figure out the distance between two planes? So let's say we have... Yeah, take difference, right? So the distance between these two 
you want the magnitude of the distance to be created by the negative number. Yeah, I have to take magnitude of some difference, right, of those distances, of those components. And uh, there is one tricky thing again. Remember, as we did it on the plane, we first made sure that, that two equations, if that equation is a prime x plus b prime y plus c prime z equals d prime, we first changed one of the equations so that it looks like the first one so that this coefficient is a the second is b the third is c and we can do that right, by multiplying this by some number because this a prime b prime c prime is proportional to a b c so you can choose a number to multiply that equation by that number making left hand side exactly the same as that one, the number d prime becomes some d double prime, and you use that d double prime divided by magnitude of now this vector abc, subtract d the d over magnitude of abc, and that's the distance. Essentially, again, copy paste of what we did on the plane. And that was exactly the reason we did it on the plane. Distance between two lines.